Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's use Automator to create a service. This episode of MacMost Now is brought to you by Gazelle. Gazelle is the easiest, fastest way for you to sell or recycle your gadgets. Every item gets an offer and you get paid to be environmentally responsible. Use promo code MacMost2 for a 5% bonus. Now I know you've got that box of old cell phones and gadgets lying around, so go to gazelle.com and see what you can get for them. So I've gotten many requests for more automated tutorials. So today let's look at creating a service. A service is something that will usually appear when you right click or control click on an item, say a file or a piece of text. So today let's create a automator script that will allow you to attach a file to a new email message. Now here's a file sitting on the desktop. Now you can right click or control click on it and get a contextual menu that has many different things that you can do with that file. Now some of these things will be added by applications and services that you add to your Mac. Others will be, be here by default. And we can add some here by creating a service and automator. So let's create one here that will create a new email message with the file attached. So when I run automator, I first get asked to choose a template. So in this case, I want to choose a service. Now once I do that, one of the things that a service will ask me for is this bit of information at the top, that what the service receives and what application it will be used in. So in this case, let's say that we want to receive a file or folder. And let's say we want to use this in the finder. And that kind of defines where the service will appear. So now we want to create the script. So we want to have mail create a new message and then attach the file to it. So we'll take a look at only the mail scripts here and then we can use the search field to quickly get to things. So we can type new and see there's the new mail message script and we will drag that in. There we go. And we'll leave all this stuff blank here so that uh, we get a chance to fill it in. And then we'll go and do the next thing which will be to attach. So we're going to add attachments to the front message. We'll put that as the next part of the script. And that's all we need to do. So now the next thing we need to do is save it. And we'll be asked to save it as a service, give it a name. So uh, new message with file. And we save it. And that's it. And it's automatically going to put it in the right place so that it appears in the control click or right click contextual menu. So now we'll move Automator out of the way and move this file back in here and we can control click on it and see that here at the bottom there is the new message with file that we created. We select it and it will launch mail, create a new message and right there is the file that we've attached. And as a side note, if you ever want to edit one of these services that you've created, you can go into your user folder into library and then look for services and then you'll find the ones you've created there. And you can open that up in Automator again and edit it. Another useful script could be to simply leave out that first part where it creates a new message and simply give yourself the ability to attach a file to the message that you're currently composing. Here's another variation where I've added the create archive action before everything else. So it should create an archive of the files I've selected and then attach it to a new email message. So I can save that and then try it out. Select both of these, control and add message with file. And now what I get here you can see is archive.zip and it's got both of those files that I've selected in there. So there's a look at creating automator to use services. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.